dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we are now in Holy Week, the week when the Lord Jesus makes His uh, way towards the culmination of His earthly existence. He goes up to Jerusalem to fulfill the scriptures and to be nailed to the good of the cross, the throne from which He will reign forever. The story in the Gospel of today tells us about the betrayal of Judas, one of the twelve disciples of Jesus. Judas was willing to take money, 30 pieces of silver, in exchange for handing over his master. The treachery of Judas is seen at its worst when Jesus makes his appeal by showing special affection to him at his last supper. St. John the Evangelist says that Satan entered into Judas when he rejected Jesus and left to pursue his evil course. Maybe somehow Judas never intended for his master to die. Maybe he thought Jesus was proceeding too slowly and not acting aggressively enough in setting up his messianic kingdom. He need to say, use the power. Perhaps Judas wanted to force Jesus' hand by compelling him to act. Nonetheless, with any reason, Judas' treasury was his refusal to accept Jesus as he was and with the exchange of Jesus with the 30 pieces of silver Judas earned for him the title of being the first blood money changer. It can be said that Judas was not born a traitor and was not a traitor at that at the time Jesus chose him. He became a traitor. And here we are before one of the darkest dramas of human freedom. God gives us freedom to choose what to do. To choose the good or the bad it depends on our freedom or choice. With Judas treasury in the gospel for today, these very holy days, we must examine ourselves that in our life one can betray Jesus or other kinds of compensation than 30 pieces of silver. A man who betrays his wife or a wife, her husband, betrays Christ. The minister of God who is unfaithful to his state in life or instead of feeding the sheep entrusted to him, feeds himself, betrays Jesus, the master. Whoever betrays their conscience betrays Jesus. But in any case, let us not imitate Judas in his lack of confidence in forgiveness, especially in the merciful God. God always waiting for us to return to Him in love and with love. Be a sacrament through which 
it is possible to have a sure experience of Christ's mercy, the sacrament of reconciliation. How wonderful this sacrament is. It is sweet to experience Jesus as teacher, master, as the merciful Lord, but even sweeter to experience Him as Savior, Redeemer. Jesus knows how to take all our sins once we have repented and returned to Him, as I said, in love and with love, and then make them happy folks, folks that could no longer be remembered if it were not for the experience of mercy and divine tenderness that they occasion. In doing this, we look into our own hearts to see how we are living our lives when we encounter the crucifixion of Jesus in these holy days. So we continue to reflect the love, the forgiveness of Jesus, of the merciful God. During this day, whenever we look at the Holy Cross, crucifixion, Christ. Amen.